In this video, I will show you my experience over two years with growing a lilac shrub in a container on my balcony. I will discuss the size of the container, soil, pruning and care. I will also discuss how to cut lilac flowers and enjoy it as a cut flower in a vase. Hi, if you are new here, my name is Nikki and I garden in a 20 by 8 feet deck in Garden Zone 6B 7A in New Jersey, USA. I have loved beautiful fragrant lilac bushes ever since seeing vintage illustrations in books, photos styled in old estate houses and modern farmhouses. I decided to try growing them on my balcony in a tall large container and try my luck. It was April 2020 and everyone was isolating inside their homes due to the pandemic. I decided to try ordering online from Home Depot. I chose the one gallon boomerang dark purple rebooming lilac. It came shipped in a cardboard box like this and was well protected. To my surprise, it already had so many blooms in the shrub. Lilacs grow in colder regions from zone 3 to 7. They also need full sun for at least 6 hours. This variety grows 4 to 6 feet tall although I knew that shrubs never grow the full size in containers. I used a 50 quart resin planter which went on to become one of my most favorite planter and I have added a few more to my garden over the years. I used my favorite Miracle Grow moisture control potting soil. Shrubs usually take a few years to establish. There is a saying about perennials. First year they sleep second year they creep and third year they leap. The plants started putting on new growth in late winter early spring around February. The new growth was unaffected by snow and freezing rain. Early spring the buds started to form. Soon the branches were filled with fragrant lilac blooms. The blooms were dark purple with lighter border around. I harvested the blooms early in the morning. I slightly snipped the woody stem that made it easier to drink up water. I then let it sit in a pitcher of water for a few hours. When it came time to arrange in a vase, I put some crystal floral preservatives and chose the beautiful vase in a complementing color that I got from Dollar Tree. I personally loved how it looked simple and sublime. It lasted a week and smelled amazing. After blooming, the flowers started getting whiter and eventually fell off. It is now that they start putting on new growth, so it is recommended not to prune at this stage. It is suggested to never cut it back in the fall, winter or early spring. Doing so will remove the spring flower buds. It is not necessary to prune the boomerang lilac in order for it to rebloom. I had never pruned my lilac so far. This variety is supposed to rebloom in summer, though so far for me it has only put two to three tiny blooms in summer. This might be the drawback of planting in a container. I fertilize it with espoma, plant on in early spring and then again after it has bloomed. I also make sure it is properly mulched and gets the maximum sunlight possible. This year will be my third year with the shrub and I will monitor its growth. It might need a repotting next year to make sure it is not root bound in the container. I will make a video about it when the time comes, so please subscribe if you are interested. I am absolutely thrilled that I am able to enjoy lilacs in a slim container in my tiny balcony. While it might not be a big luscious shrub, I so enjoy the early spring flowers that I can bring inside my home and enjoy for days. Thank you for watching my video. If this video gave you any value, please like and subscribe. 